Hello there Libra, thank you for stopping by for your weekly tarot forecast for the week of July 13th through the 19th. I am using the Russian Tarot of St. Petersburg once again. And so Libra, on Monday what you have coming up is you have the Page of Cups. This is just telling me that you are giving somebody a message of love. Well, some of you are going to be giving people a message of love on Monday. Others of you are going to be receiving a message of love on Monday. So there's a couple of ways that this is actually manifesting for different ones of you. So giving a message of love can be anything from buying chocolates, giving that engagement ring, <laughs> all the way up to, or uh, yeah, all the way up to just giving somebody a hug that is going through a tough situation, or maybe even just being a shoulder for somebody to cry on. So there's a lot of different ways to express love. Um, that don't necessarily have to be, you know, so in the box. It doesn't have to be chocolates and a Valentine's card. And I realize I just showed you guys the palm of my hand. I had a big bicycle accident a couple of weeks ago, and I'm doing really well, and everything's healing up, but I did scrape <laughs> my hand pretty good at that time. So, anyway, let's move on. I just want to explain that, because I knew some of you would worry about that when you saw that. So, um, Monday, either receiving a message of love or giving a message of love. Now, you can also receive a message of love even um, in the form of somebody uh, that's in preschool or kindergarten drawing you a picture and saying, I love you, Mommy, or I love you, Daddy, or whatever. So, messages of love can look like all kinds of different things. So, try to think outside of the box. Everybody likes to put love into that romantic category, but it's not always there doesn't make it any less it just makes it not that kind okay so Tuesday what we have showing up Libra is we have the two of coins two of coins talks about balancing things now typically the two of coins before for me has always talked about balancing events like having a full itinerary and being able to get from this place to that place and get everything done that you're supposed to get done and blah 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 but lately this card has also given me the impression too of balancing finances so i feel like you're doing something on tuesday to kind of balance your finances and this is kind of a juggling thing there's a lot of layers going on as far as how you're getting this to all work out so for a lot of you i feel like this could be putting together paperwork to um maybe of our contract on a house or just to put together the financing on a house or on a vehicle something like that but this is really talking about balancing um, financing. So not only could it be about buying something new, but this could also be um, anywhere where you have to show finances. So this could be putting together tax paperwork as well. But there's just a lot of juggling going on, trying to make everything do what it's supposed to do, trying to make this paperwork look the way that it's supposed to look. And um, it feels like it's complicated and layered. Um, so it could be either one of those two for you Libras. This could be working on some kind of financial situation and um, doing, putting the paperwork together for it. And this can also be just having a really full itinerary and just balancing everything out. Being able to juggle between this thing and that thing and get it all done. Okay? So it's going to be coming through in different ways for different ones of you. But that's Tuesday. Now Wednesday... What we have coming up for you, Libras, is we have the Ace of Coins. Ace of Coins just means you're going to be receiving some kind of gift on Wednesday. So let's be clear about gift. A gift is not something that you have earned or that you deserve. So when somebody gives you this gift, don't be all high and mighty about it like, oh, I knew I was getting that. And forget to say thank you. Because <laughs> you haven't earned it. You haven't deserved it. Somebody's just giving it to you out of the grace and kindness of their own heart. So gratitude, gratitude, gratitude is what I'm being told to remind you guys. <laughs> okay, so Libra, receiving a gift on Wednesday. Hopefully you'll be have some gratitude for that gift when it shows up. Thursday, we have the page of clubs showing up. So this is a message coming in to you on Thursday, and messages can come in any number of ways, whether it's text, Skype, um, email, telephone, in person, but this is talking about a message coming in to you on Thursday that is going to have you feeling very inspired and happy, have you feeling um, like you have a new project to work on or a new direction to go. Um, this may be something that you've been working on for a while and you kind of thought you were at a dead end. This gives you a new direction that you can go with this. 
and also for some of you, besides the possibility of it being a project or maybe even a relationship, for some of you this also has to do with spirituality. You have a new message coming in that is really inspiring you to reach a little bit deeper into your own spirituality. Okay? So that's Thursday. And then Friday, Libras, what we have coming up is we have the Four of Clubs in Reverse. This is my Leaving the Nest card. So this tells me somebody around you is leaving the nest. It may even, in some cases, be you yourself, Libra. And when I talk about leaving the nest, this is moving out of mom and dad's house, moving out of, um, moving out of whatever house you live in right now. This could be going away to a military tour of duty. This could be going away to college. So this is just leaving the nest. It's coming out of that place that you had been comfortable being. Um, this can also come in in your work life. This can be somebody leaving the office that you work or the branch that you work out of. Um, like I said, this could be you. In some cases, it will be you, Libra. In a lot of cases, it's going to be other people as well, though. Or other people instead, I should say. Um, let's see. Yeah, so that basically gives you a good idea about leaving the nest. It's somebody coming out of that place where they're accustomed to being. Okay, so then on Saturday we have the Seven of Cups in Reverse. This is a card that I much prefer to see in Reverse just because I'm more practical. But the Seven of Cups in Reverse is saying that you are looking around at options, maybe even brainstorming about different options for things that you can do in your life to meet particular goals for yourself. And as you're looking around and brainstorming at these different options, you're also making some plans about how do I get from where I am now to where I want to be. So step one to step two, step two to step three. So you're starting to get some of those steps in place that you can actually take action to start reaching some of these ideas that you come up with while you're brainstorming. So it's very much um, not just about daydreaming, but about really looking at some goals and figuring out how to take some action to reach those. And that's what I see for your Saturday. And then for Sunday, we have another good reversed card. This is the Eight of Swords reversed. A of Swords Reverse just means that you have had a situation that you felt kind of locked into, like you didn't know a good solution to this situation. And the trick with the Eight of Swords is that that situation, the, the locking in, the, that stuck feeling is all because of how you're looking at things. It's all in your mind. You've created it. It's not that you're stuck in reality, but your perspective is holding you from moving forward. And so the beautiful thing about this is that it came in reversed on Sunday. That means that you've had a chance to look at this from a little different perspective than usual. And now you're seeing how you're really not stuck at all and how easy it is to move forward. Okay? So that is your week Libra. For those of you who would like to schedule a private session with me, feel free to check out my website. I'm at amista.info. Once you have looked around there and you find a service that you like from me, go ahead and contact me and we will schedule you as quickly as possible. Normally I do have a pretty significant waiting list, but right now not so much. So this would be a great time to be able to schedule a reading really quickly. All right, so thank you everybody for stopping by. I'll see you all here next week. Everyone have a great week. Peace out.